guys, welcome back to my new video. Oh, you've had a good day. <laughs> <laughs> filming a glam birthday get ready with me if that's what I've called it I don't know basically I'm going to be getting ready and I know this is literally the same as last week's video but this time I'm going to be doing eyeshadow I've already done my eyebrows off camera because it's a time saver I have to be at the pizza parlor which is where I'm going at seven so I've got an hour and a half to get ready that's great maths thank you I feel my GCSEs can you believe it so yeah let's get right onto this video I hope you enjoy it so basically I'm going to start off with, by using the Tarte Shape Tape and I'm going to put that on my eyelid for my eyeshadow. So I'm just going to put this all over my lid and then blend it out. Because I want to. Oh did you get this? Yeah. Oh. She had it, I saw it and I was like, oh, I'm back getting it. Is it? No, they're quite cheap, aren't they? Yeah. And do you mix up your foundation, I take it? Mm, I'm going to put it on before my foundation this time and see how it goes. You're going to what? on before my foundation. Oh right, right. Not my eye. Loads of people are like not setting their eyelids anymore when they're doing eyeshadow but I don't think I trust myself enough to do that. Do you know what? I'm the same. By the way, this wasn't planned for Clara to actually be in this video. She just said Surprise. she was going to come round because she had a card to give me. Because it's her birthday and tomorrow. I'm now taking my airspun powder and I'm going to just set my lids with that and then we will get right into eyeshadow. So I'm now taking the Sosu Kady palette. So this is the palette I got this for Christmas in case you didn't know. I've been using it quite a lot recently. Car and Brian got me this for Christmas. And yeah. So the first shade I'm going in with is this like caramel toned one. It's Saviour I think it's called. But yeah I'm going to go in with that into like my crease and like blend it up the way. So yeah. This is my new favourite palette, just thought I'd let you all know. Now I'm going to go in with the colour um, Prophecy and I'm just going to put that in like my crease and like blend it like, uh, yeah. Listen, I'm not telling you how to do this makeup look, I'm showing you how I do it. So, yeah, all you haters. Okay, so if you decide to do this makeup look, by all means, go for it. But I'm not telling you how to do it, I'm just showing you how I do it. I'm now going in with the shade Oath, which is like a dark brownie colour, it's like blacky brown. I'm just going to put it on the outer part of my crease. Once again, not telling you how to do this eyeshadow look, I'm showing you how I do it. In you that, know what? In Sorry. That, in that right, Clara. So right. You've never said a writer word. Then I'm taking the Morphe E23 brush and like blending it out because we don't want any of those harsh line boys. Yeah, and the fresh was. air was like, mmm, fresh. <laughs> now I'm gonna go in with the ordinary organic cold pressed rose hip seed oil, and I'm gonna put this just on my face before my foundation. I don't know how this is gonna turn out, but we'll soon find out. I don't know if this oil is gonna take off my foundation or not, but like I've never tried putting it on before my foundation, so. We'll soon find out. So, because as you may or may not know, I have very dry skin. Today for my foundation, I am using the Superstay 24 Hour Full Coverage Foundation in the shade 40 Fawn. Best foundation that I have ever tried. I need to wet my beauty blender. And I don't put it on my forehead until I've done like the bottom half of this. So like concealed, powder, everything like that. Because otherwise I get lines all on my forehead when I'm putting out when I do this here. See, not fun. And then I'm taking my Real Techniques Beauty Blender and just gonna blend that all out. So I'm now gonna put on my Revolution Concealer and I'm just going to put that on my chin and on my nose. I'm also gonna put it under my eyes, but I'm not gonna put it under my eyes yet oh no, because I'm gonna powder these two parts first because I don't want the concealer drying up. So I've now concealed all of my face and I'm gonna just put the foundation on my forehead now my seven centimeter. What's the smell? It smells like powder, like baby powder. Because it's my powder. Is that what that smells like? Smell it. Oh my word, that smells amazing. It smells like pure roses. <gasps> <laughs> wow. I love the amazement you have right now. Oh my word, I just have to get that. <laughs> it 
It's like eight pound. It's ten ninety nine. It's not. Well, it actually, is. I googled it. From where? Amazon. It's actually. Oh yeah. <laughs> I, I got it for Christmas. Well, no, I can't afford it, but I have to see it. I'm now going to go in with the Rimmel London Natural Bronzer to, like, bronze, and then I'm going to go in with the Hula Benefit Bronzer to bronze even more. And now for my favourite part of my makeup routine, I'm going to go in with the Ofra Highlighter in Rodale Drive. Turn down the brightness for this part because you'll thank me. Woo! <laughs> I'm also going to put on my eye candy eyelashes that I got in TK Maxx. <laughs> so guys, that is everything for the video. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm just going to wear my hair straight and I don't know what I'm wearing yet. If you want to see any photos from this night, <laughs> head on over to my Instagram. It's linked down in the description below. Follow my social medias there at the start of the video. I hope you enjoyed this video. I love you all. Have a good day now. I'm watching this. I love you. Peace out. Hi, darling. <laughs>